My chair is squeaking. It's not me. Ready when you are. Come on in if you're watching. Cats love boxes. Dogs love beds. Cats love boxes. Dogs love beds. I'm going to be forced to give you all tardy slips because you're late to class. Sorry, I'm working on some ideas for the next class here. I'll give you five minutes and then I'm going to teach this class to myself. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> well, 
Nobody loves me. Two minutes. Sorry, I have to wait. Plus, if I teach this class to myself, it's not going to last more than 40 minutes anyway, maybe 30 minutes. I don't have that many personalities yet. I only have maybe two or three personalities. I have to work my way up to have eight or nine multiple personalities. And I can have a very good class with myself. Ah, wrong category. Wow, okay. <clears throat> One more minute. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, too. Okay, we shall begin. This is the class of Jeremy teaching Jeremy, so here we go. Um, let's warm up. Today's lesson is going to be on possessive pronouns, and we're going to discuss news and politics a little bit later, although it's not so much politics, just some interesting news. Whose art do you like and why? Whose art do I like? I like uh, Pablo Picasso because it is his his art is provocative his art is abstract difficult to interpret um, I also like Van Gogh's art because it's surreal his art is it challenges um, your perspective uh, some of it anyway and um, he I heard he cut off his own ear. I don't know why that makes me like him, but yeah. So that's whose art I like. What about you? Well, uh, let's see. Student number two. Whose art do I like? I like um, Michelangelo because uh, his art is features lots of nudity. No, just kidding. <laughs> He was a master uh, at sculpting. Uh, his attention to detail was incredible. Yeah, actually, I'm not a huge art fan, but um, I think I like art, abstract art more. So, you notice in our answers that we give to whose art, when we ask the question "Whose do you prefer?" Uh, if I say "Whose whose class do you do you prefer, mine or hers?" Obviously, you prefer hers because you're not here. My class is empty. But right there, I've just used multiple possessive pronouns because we've talked about his art, my class, her class, and your absence is obviously notable because this class will not be as interesting without you. So we have possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are the pronouns that are um, used to discuss things that we own, right? Um, Possessive pronouns. Actually, I've been using, excuse me, I've been using possessive adjectives. Oops. More sleep necessary. More sleep needed. Possessive pronouns are the equivalent of the possessive adjectives. I should have been using um, mine. Whose art do you like best? I like mine. Yours. The problem is yours. The car is theirs. Um, whose house is it? It's theirs. 
So the pronoun takes the place of the adjective and the noun together. Basically, if I type this into the chat, my house becomes mine. So whose house is it? It's mine. Um, whose fault is it? Yours, of course. Um, and which uh, which style of speaking do you prefer, British or American? I prefer ours. <laughs> See, so the possessive pronoun takes the place of the adjective and the noun together. We just get rid of the noun and make the. There's a, obviously a clear relationship between the possessive adjective and the pronoun, right? Possessive adjective is my, my book, the book is mine. Uh, your book, the book is yours. His book, the book is his. In that case, the adjective and the pronoun are exactly the same, right? Her book, it's hers. What about if it's an animal? It's bull. It's food, it's... We don't have a possessive pronoun. Ah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, there is no neutral pronoun. We can't say it's its. No, it doesn't work. That's a little, that's a trick. There is no possessive pronoun for it. We have a possessive adjective. It's food. The dog hurt its leg. But we can't say that the lay, uh, the, the food is its. That doesn't, doesn't fly in English. So keep that in mind. There is, an, there is one, the neutral, the third person noodle, neuter or neutral um, in the gender. Right, we have he, she, and it. It does not have a possessive pronoun. Uh, we, so we is the subject, right? We wrote this article. So it is our article, or our paper, right? We we wrote this article. Hey, Ken. Hello. Oh, yes. Hey. Are you? Are. Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm happier now that you're here because <laughs> I was teaching the class to myself. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, somebody <laughs> might watch after this or, or, or know, on the lobby. It, it's yeah. always it's always a little bit more boring to uh, teach the class to yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. I, I have to I have to pretend that I have a split personality <laughs> and all sorts of interesting things. <laughs> So, uh, were you guys watching the class, or are you just now getting here? I I've just come here. Okay. Mm. Yes. Hi, man. Hello. Yeah, I try. I try to come to class because I I can see you a lot, but my connection is too bad. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just doing a quick review of um, possessive pronouns, right? You guys remember what a possessive pronoun is? Uh, uh, yes. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, kind of at apostrophe s, or hmm? no, no, theirs or his yeah, or yeah, hers. Right. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So remember, the pro a pronoun takes the place of the noun. That's the first thing you got to remember about pronouns, right? Mm -hmm. A regular yes. pro a regular pronoun would be I, because it takes the place of my name, Jeremy, right? Or if I'm talking to you, instead of saying your name, Ken, 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 I say you. So you takes the place of, of your name. Instead of John, I refer to he. He went to school, he did this, he did that, he fell down. So those are the subject pronouns, right? We have subject pronouns, we have object pronouns. Uh, for instance, let's, let's make a sentence. Hey, Omar, how you doing? I'm doing great, teacher, thank you. Good, good. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, teacher. Have you uh, have you been out in the desert recently? <laughs> no. No? Okay. You you told me that you like to go out in the desert sometimes, right? Yeah, of course, but now the weather is hot. Oh, it's hot. Okay. When will it when will it cool off for you? Um when the winter come. Oh, okay. So September is still pretty hot, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay, so if I give you guys a... Let's make sure we understand the relationship between the, the regular pronoun, the object pronoun, and the possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun takes the place of the possessive adjective, right? So 
let's make a sentence here. We say, uh, let me write the whole thing out so you can see it. Um, All right, there's a little paragraph for us. Um, Mon, go ahead and read that. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the second word. Loaned. Loaned. Okay. I loaned the book to John. I gave the book back to me. It, it's my book. It's mine. Okay, good. So we know what the word loaned means, right? Uh, yeah, teacher. What's, like, what, when, what, what's when, it you mean? Give, when you give someone the book, he's uh, behind you. Okay. So it, it's temporary, right? You give someone something temporarily, they borrow it. He's the borrower, I loaned it. Yeah, okay. Well, I want to focus on all of the pronouns. We have a lot of pronouns here in this uh, particular paragraph. In the first sentence, where is the pronoun? What do you think, Ken? I think no. Uh, yeah. It. Not the first sentence. First sentence, I loaned the book to John. Mm, where is the pronoun? <laughs> no pronoun, I, I guess. The yeah, there, the first sentence. There, there is. There's a subject pronoun. Uh -huh, okay, subject could be a pronoun. Okay. I. I. I, right? Mm -hmm. Because okay. I takes the place of my name, Jeremy. So mm -hmm. I loan the book to John, right? So mm -hmm. there's the subject pronoun. Um, and you know what I should have done? I should have changed the second sentence to this. Instead of saying the book again, I should have changed it to he gave it back to me. There. So let's take this. Second sentence. So first sentence, I loan the book to John, subject pronoun. He gave it back to me. Um, Omar, give me an example. Where's give me a, some pronouns in that sentence? Uh, I think he. Mm -hmm. Give. Okay, he is a pronoun, right? Yeah. What else is a pronoun in that sentence? Uh, two. No, two is a preposition. It denotes. The connection, right? Uh, it. Uh, yeah, it. It's a pronoun. It refers to what? Uh, to. But to it, it. It is a substitute for what? He gave it. He gave what? Uh, what are we talking about? About the thing. But yeah. What was it that I that I gave to? What was it I loaned to John? Maybe the book. Yeah, the book. So he gave the book, or it, back to me. Anytime you substitute the noun for something else that's smaller, that's usually a pronoun. So he is a pronoun, it is a pronoun, and me, that's an object pronoun, right? I is the opposite of, I and me are the connection, right? Yeah. He gave it back to me. Uh, uh, it is, uh, it is subtract pronoun, or object pronoun. Yeah. Me is the object, he is the subject. It's the it refers to the same person, right? I and me are the same thing. No, no, I'm asking you about it. It. It is just a, a pronoun in the sentence. It's not so. subject or object. I, well, it is an object. It can be both. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's the receiver of the action. It's also an object pronoun. He, it's it's receiving the action of giving, but we don't want to get too technical. So now when we go to the next sentence and we say it's, what type of pronoun? Actually, there's there's two pronouns here. What do you think, uh, Omar? Do you see one? Uh, it's my. Okay, so where's the pronoun? 
book. Okay, but which which what word is the uh, the word you said? What does it mean? Pronoun? Yeah. Pronoun is a substitute word that takes the place of the noun. It's a word referencing um, a pronoun. So um, how do I give you a basic definition of a pronoun? Basically, it's it references the noun with things like he, we, she. It's it's referring to a specific person. It takes the like, place. Like my. Yeah. So in this pl in this case, uh, we have a my is a possessive adjective, right? Yeah. We're, we're referring to the book. And then it would be the pronoun in this sentence. It. It is my book. So it. It's my book. Now, when we say when we say my book, so it's my book, and then we say it's mine. Mine now becomes a pronoun because it's taking the place of my book. Right? It's my book. It's mine. So I just want to show you the connection between all the different pronouns. There's pronouns all over the place when we speak. He, she, we, they. Uh, possessive pronouns. We want to focus on on these. Let me see if there's a little a little document. Well, you probably don't need it. Um, how about I give you the subject pronoun? Okay, I'll give you the person, and you tell me what the possessive pronoun would be. So think about the book. Who does the book belong to? So if I say, um, if I say the pronoun is I, what's the possessive? Mine. Mine. Okay. What if I say she? What's the possessive? Her. Hers. Her. Yes. Right. Think of think of this sentence. It's. Whoops. It's hers. We're not going to use the adjective. Um, we're not going to use her car. If there's a relationship, obviously, but what we want to do is get rid of the car and just say one word to say whose is it, right? So if I say, whose car is that, you say, it's hers. What if uh, the car belongs to Ken? Mm -hmm. Whose car is it now? Uh, car is mine. Okay, so Ken says it's mine. And Omar, what would you say? I say, hey, whose car is that? Uh, I say mine. No, so. it it belongs to Ken. So whose car is it? Uh, his car. His car or it's? Uh, it's. Take out the car. It is him car. His. His. Yeah. I just want to make sure you guys realize you can actually say it's his, it's hers, right? So her car, hers. His car, his. In this case, his is the same word. You don't have to make any changes. But with her, you have to add the S. It's so, it's her television or it's hers. Can I say it's Go ahead, Ken's, Can I say it's Ken's car? Yeah, you can say it's Ken's car. That's possessive. But for the purpose of this lesson, we're trying to focus on pronouns. That's why I'm... We're going over his, hers. Okay, what if I say, um, someone says, hey, is this, uh, is that yours? Is it, <laughs> someone says, um, hey, you know what? I'm sorry, this isn't mine. It's, it's I'm going to give it yours. to you. I'm gonna, yeah, it's yours. Yeah. What if it's, what if it's two people across the street? I say, hey, uh, who does that dog belong to? And you know that it belongs to the couple across the street? It's belong to them. Okay, it belongs to them or it's... What do you think, Ron? Uh, Keep the same pattern. It's hers, it's his... Um, theirs? Theirs. Yes. You guys know how to spell that? Theirs. It's the same relationship, right? We say it's their dog or it's theirs. We add an S. The S makes it possessive. Okay? 
And if it belongs to all of us, our, our belongs to us. Okay, belongs to us. So it's. What's the possessive pronoun? It's belongs to us. But what's the pronoun? It's ours. Ours. O U R S. Ours. You see a pattern, right? Almost they all end in S except for mine. Mine is the only one. All the other ones end in S. Yours, his, hers, ours, uh, theirs. And for yours can be for one person or for three, four, five people, right? We could say it's yours or it's yours when you're speaking to a group. It's yours. Hey, it's not. It's not my problem. It's it's your well, it's your problem or it's yours. <laughs> what about the dog? Here's a here's a tricky question for you. So we say the dog. Um, the dog has a house. So it's the dog's house. Or that house, uh, we say it. We say it's its house, right? We refer we refer to its house. So we talk about the dog's house. We say its house is too small. The dog is very big, right? So its house is too small. That's an adjective. Just so I don't try to trick you, there is no possessive pronoun. We can't say it's its house. We can't say its house. We can't say it like this. It's its. We don't do that. Not allowed. So there is no possessive pronoun for animals. We have to use an adjective. <laughs> Not fair. But, but uh, some kind of uh, pe people say his or her for yeah, their pets. If you want to talk about his or hers, right? Or if we're talking about an, an item like a car. Uh, we can say we can use an adjective like its steering is very responsive or its color is very bright. We can say an adjective, but we cannot replace the brightness and refer to it as uh, its as a possessive pronoun. Just keep that in mind. There's no pronoun for it. All right, let's do this. Uh, we have a article here, and we can practice some personal pronouns. Possessive pronouns, sorry. I keep saying personal. They are personal, but they're possessive. Go ahead and open that up for me. I'll bring this over here. Okay, let me know when you guys are ready. Yeah, we are ready. Okay. Ready? All right. So it says Brent, Louisiana painting chimpanzee, wins first prize in art contest. Hi, Trong. We just started opening the article, Trong, if you want to open it up. My picture. I just posted the article in the chat, okay? You can go ahead and grab the, uh, the newspaper article. So you see a picture here of uh, the artist Brent. Apparently he's a accomplished artist. He even wears a beret. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's scroll down to the actual text. It says, New Orleans is the location. A painting by a 37-year-old Louisiana primate who applies color with his tongue instead of a brush has been deemed the finest chimpanzee art in the land. Brent, a retired laboratory animal, was the top vote getter in an online chimp art contest organized by the Humane Society of the United States, which announced the results Thursday. He won $10,000 for the Chimp Haven Sanctuary in Northwest Louisiana. Uh, let's see, Mon, you want to read? Uh, yeah. My chimp had a spokeswoman that. Brent was unavailable for a common Thursday. I think he's asleep, uh, Ashley Harden said. Okay. Uh, Omar, next next paragraph. Uh, where is the next teacher? But as the society. 
I see a shimbe, a shimba in half. One, two, three, four. Paragraph four. Just count the little paragraphs. Number four. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, but as the skitty side on it is uh, whipped, the poets are in solid. The band hooting. Uh, hooting. The band hooting. Uh, begin band uh, hooting. Uh, begin the Charcastic call of an excited champ. Okay, thank you. Um, Trong, would you like to read the next paragraph? Mm. A pie, pie. Teacher, pie, other. Yes. Pie, other than the twelve. So, rice. Around the country, completely using paintings, greetings, grouping, every uh, every enrichment season, children, we can include any a wide variety of active active activities and playthings. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ibtasim. Chimpanzee research researcher Jane Goodall chose her favorite from photographs she was sent. Bit painting by Cheetah and male at Save the Chimp Chimps in for the price Fla won five hundred dollars as Goodall's Goodall's choice and another five dollar five hundred dollars five thousand five dollars for winning second place in online voting. Human Society spokeswoman Nicole Lan Yanni said. Thank you. Uh, Ken, you want to read the next two? Okay. Uh, reply from the center of the great apes in uh, Wanchula, Fl Fl uh, Fl Florida. One third place on and uh, two two thousand five hundred dollars. More than uh, Twenty-seven thousand people voted. I'm, I'm, hmm? I, 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 Yani said in a news release, the organization is not uh, giving vote totals to keep the focus on the positive work for uh, of the sanctuaries and not necessarily necessarily the winner the winner. She said in an email. The sanctuary's care for chimpanzees retired from research in entertainment and the pet trade. Chimp Heaven is the national sanctuary for those retired from the federal research. Okay. Other submitted paintings were by Jamie, a female champ chimpanzee. Uh, I'm sorry, a female at Chimpanzee Sanctuary Northwest in Clee Ellum, Washington. Jenny, a female at Primate Rescue Center in Nicholasville, Kentucky, and Patty, a female at Chimps Incorporated in Bend, Oregon. A profile of Brent on the Humane Society's website says he has lived at Chimp Haven since 2006, is protective of an even older chimp at the sanctuary, and loves to laugh and play. It continues, Brent paints only with his tongue. His unique approach and style, while a little unorthodox, or unorthodox, results in beautiful pieces of art. Kathy Willis Spretz, Chimp Haven's president and CEO, said she chose a painting by Brent partly because of that unusual method. She said she later held a canvas up to the mesh of his indoor cage so she could watch him at work. Some other chimps use brushes or point to the colors they want on the canvas, but Brent comes up to smush pre-applied blobs of child safe tempera paints with his tongue, she said. If we handed the canvas to them where it was on the inside, they might not want to hand it back. They might throw it around and step on it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so um, questions for you guys. 
Whose painting won first prize in an art contest? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who won? Who won first prize? It's a prank. Um, Brent. Uh huh. Brent. Yeah. And yes. and and exactly what uh, what is Brent? Chimpanzee. Yeah, it's a chimpanzee. So um, Brent won first prize. Uh, let's see. And uh, next question is: um, How does this chimpanzee paint? Uh, by using he, uh, he, its tongue. Yeah, yeah, by using its tongue. Um, and why did um, why is this unusual? How do the other chimpanzees paint? Maybe pro uh, you use using brushes. Uh -huh. Other chimpanzees use brushes. Yeah, brush. Mhm. Mm they use brushes or maybe their fingers. Who knows? But mm -hmm. uh, apparently he likes using his tongue. Um, how was the winner of the contest chosen? Teacher, you mean the chimpanzee? Yeah, how how did he win? Who uh, who chose him? I think the people because he drew pictures. Yeah, the people voted, right? It's an online vote, so it's more just for charity. It looks like. Um, so if we if we look at the picture for a moment, look at the picture at the top. Um, whose whose picture is it? We can we'll refer to him as a male because he is a male chimpanzee. So whose whose picture is it? Uh, it's Brett. Okay, so it's Brent's picture. Or we, if we want to use a possessive pronoun, we can say. What could we say about this picture? It's it's whose? It, it's uh. uh <laughs> this picture. Let's let's call him a male because we can't we can't call him a a, a, a new, neutral gender, right? It's it's whose? It's his. It's but, his. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that for animals. It's fine. It's his. Yeah, it's his painting. Um. And whose painting was the favorite of the famous researcher Jane Goodall, according to the article? If you look about halfway down. Whose painting did she choose? Um, human Socrates. <laughs> so, say what? I just read it like human uh, Socrates, maybe. Oh, the Humane Society, I think you're trying to read, yeah. yeah. I think uh, she chose a painting by a chimp named Cheetah. Well, it's, it's not important. So here's a question. What do you think? Do do animals have artistic ability? What's your opinion? What do you, what do you think, Dave? Do animals have artistic ability? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I, I have I have seen a, a video uh, from Thailand uh, that uh, elephants can paint, but uh, actually uh, the owner of the elephant just uh, 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 control him by his uh, ear. Oh, by so, his ear. Yes. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm just asking you. I just I'm just asking. I haven't researched this. I don't know. What do you think, uh, Ibtasim? Do you think animals might have some artistic ability? Yeah, I think so. Like chimpanzee, he can draw uh, beautiful pictures. And I've seen um, an article, like you said, uh, Dave, an elephant, uh, he draws something in um, 
something uh, wonderful in the Philippines. Hmm. Maybe uh, maybe this is abstract art. But what does what does this tell me about abstract art? <laughs> If uh, if the chimpanzee and an elephant can paint abstract art, maybe I can too, right? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I just need to practice more. S some people like said the chimpanzees and the monkey. They was uh, the human being was uh, like them. Ah. Yeah. Okay, let's try something. I have an idea. Um, Let's go. I'm going to get rid of the article here. Let's try a practice session. And, um, okay, we have uh, five of you, huh? Okay, good. So, uh, let's do this. Uh, we're going to have a session where we're going to try to use possessive pronouns. Um, let's pretend that I am a lawyer and my client was a very, very wealthy. Uh, bye, bye, Trung. Oh, he already left. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't see his note. Um, our my client was a very, very wealthy woman, uh, and she died. But unfortunately, she was not smart, and she did not compose a will, a last will and testament. You guys know what a will is? Yes. 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 Man, you know what a will is? No, I don't know. A, a will is what you, you outline. When I die, I would like to give this to this person. I would like to get to give this money to this person. So it expresses your wishes for your estate. Oh, yeah. my, my client was a very, very rich woman. So unfortunately, yeah. she didn't leave a will. And all of you are her relatives. You guys are different relatives. Some of you are... You guys can make it up. Son, grandchild, nephew, niece. But you guys are all related to her. She has a huge family. And all of you wants to get a piece of her estate. But I, I need proof. And I also need to decide. I have to decide because she left me the power of attorney. She said, my lawyer will decide everything. She doesn't care. So you guys are going to have to tell me why you believe you should get something. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, here we go. We'll start off. I'm the lawyer. Um, let's start off with. Um, I'll start off with uh, Ken. Mm -hmm. So Ken, um, tell me, how are you related to to uh, Mrs. Wilson? How are you related to her? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Wilson is my relative. Uh huh. But and, more uh, more specifically. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, I I I don't know who this is, and maybe it's his aunt or. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, she was. <laughs> she was your aunt. Okay. <laughs> All right, and um, so why why are <laughs> nice? I'm her husband. <laughs> no, she's she was a widow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'd be dead, Dave. You know the word. You guys know the word widow, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay, Mr. Kin, um, tell me what what is it that you believe you are entitled to? Uh, I I'm rich enough, so please donate somewhere to that money. You you want her to donate some money? Yeah. To whom? Uh, kind of energy or so. Do, uh, do, uh, don't you? Uh, did, didn't you her right uh, left uh, her will about donation or giving no. money to someone? She she didn't leave a will. All she did was she left a letter saying that uh, me as her favorite attorney, it's up to me to decide who gets what. So, so. <laughs> so I'm I'm not I I'm I I don't uh, need that money. So oh, you don't so need the money. Give uh, that money to someone. Okay. Well, who's um, who's uh, whose charity is it? Mm, uh, the she she loves animals. Okay. So, uh, I I don't know. I'm not sure, but she might donate that money to the animal foundation or environment environmental preservation uh, kind of group. 
Okay. All right. Uh, let me think about that. I'll come back to you. Okay, I'll make okay. a note here. So we have a we have a petition for an environmental group, huh? Um, environmental or animal group. All right. Like a real animal. All right. So donation maybe. All right. Let me see how much. Um, Dave. Mr. Yes. Dave. Um, so who are you? Uh, I'm uh, her son. Oh, her son. Okay. Um, and uh, what uh, what what are you seeking? What are you here for? Uh, I'm here for all the heritage. <laughs> okay. Um, what uh, more specifically? What what portion? Excuse me. What what portion of her? What what specific things of her estate are you trying to obtain? Well, I'm I'm seeking uh, the hotels and uh, the cars, the Ferrari and the everything. I think. Wow, and everything. Yes. Everything. Wow. Okay. Um, why why do you think it should all be yours when she has many relatives? Well, because uh, I'm her only son and uh, she loves me a lot. <laughs> Her only son. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, what will you do with the money? Well, I I will give uh, 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 some person a uh, little person for uh, uh, for the charity and uh, to help other people. And uh, the other thing I will just to invest in uh, many countries and uh, try to help people. Okay. Um, All right, very good. Let me um, let me come back. I have some more questions for you. Charities, investments. Okay, uh, Ibtasim. Yes, I see. I see here your name is Ibtasim. Um, how are you related to Mrs. Wilson? I'm her cousin. Oh, her cousin. Okay, and uh, why are you here today? I'm seeking for her. Uh, for her car, he um, sometimes tell me that he wants to donate her car for uh, for uh, the poor one. For the poor ones. Yeah. Okay, so you're a poor person. No, I'm not poor. I'm donate it for the poor one ones. Oh, you're gonna donate it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are who are you going to donate it to? For um, poor persons. Okay, you just you're gonna give it away. Yeah. Okay. How will you decide who to give it to? I will search. Uh, uh, just go to Africa. <laughs> Uh, maybe go to the UK. There is there are many persons who are poor there. Okay. All right. All right. I decided. So, so you want her car? Which which car? <laughs> the Ferrari. Oh, the Ferrari. Wow. I don't know what a fer poor person will do with a Ferrari. All right. Ferrari to donate to the poor. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Good. Um, he can't afford the gasoline. Yeah, what is a Ferrari V12? Some of them. Uh, let's see, Omar. And 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 who are you? I am the husband of uh, her daughter. And the uh, daughter okay. asked me for uh, take the money. Okay. Um. So why should I give the money to you and her daughter? Why? What? For what reason? Uh, because uh, her daughter uh, needs the money to be rich. <laughs> okay. Everybody wants to be rich, but why should I give it to you instead of to Dave? Uh, because. Uh, uh, the the girl I married, uh, she uh, the she kinds of 
she can't score. Like she give the money for anyone need the money. But I think uh, that's uh, that uh, things will uh, you will make you give the money to the daughter. Ah, okay, very good. All right, um, Man, what? Uh, your name is Man. How are you related to the to the deceased? Oh, do you know because I am her brother. Oh, you're her brother. Okay. Yeah. Um, and why are you here today? What are you What are you hoping to obtain? Yeah. Um, I, I want to. I want. To, I want to get the uh, the money. Uh huh. How How much are you applying for? Yeah, like I heard told me before, we just um uh, say say again. The, the internet's breaking up. Say that again. Okay, like I heard told me before, maybe two years ago. Um, uh, I can I can get uh, maybe two thousand, two thousand two 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 hundred. Million dollar. Two hundred million dollars. Wow. Yes. Okay. Two hundred million dollars. That's a lot of money, but she is a rich woman. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, and why? Why? Uh, why do you? Why do you think you should get the money? Because uh, she told me before. Uh, oh, she told you. After yes. Uh, after she she died, I have to take care of her company. And Ooh. I I have to come uh, take care of her daughter. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna take care of Omar and his wife? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I have to get uh, a lot of money. Okay. Um, yes. what are your qualifications to to manage her company? Um. Maybe I, I I don't understand your question. You said you're gonna you're gonna run her company. You're gonna take care of her company. Yes. Uh, what what are your qualifications? Qualification. I don't understand qualifications. Um, what are your skills so that you can run her company? Yeah. Um. I can I can I can be a manager manager. Because I am, I am her brother, so I really uh, understand her company. I know how to work. I, I know what to do. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yes. I'm gonna have to think about it. All right. Um, well, after after further consideration of all of your petitions, I have decided that uh, I am going to keep all the money for myself. As her attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's mine. Uh, okay, let's let's try this. We have a couple minutes left. Let's pretend that we're looking through a big toy bin, and we have a we're a, a whole bunch of kids here. We're all kids, so we're trying to figure out whose is what. So uh, I'm holding a I'm holding a a, a toy bear in my hand. Whose bear is this? Anybody? Who, whose bear is it? Omar? Whose bear it's is it? My, it's it's mine. It's mine. Oh, okay. It's it's yours. Um, go ahead. Ho hold something else up, and ask somebody else a question. And don't say the same thing every time, guys. So go ahead, Omar. Make something up. What do you What do you got in your hand there? Uh, I got my glass. <laughs> It's supposed to be a toy. We're all kids. Okay. Uh, I got my control of the game. Ah, okay. So ask ask the group whose it is. Whose uh, control uh, belong to? Anyone? Anyone want to answer? <laughs> Nobody wants it? it. It's his. It's his. Okay. Good. It's his. 
Um, how about this one? Uh, oh, I've got um, I've got um, uh, I got a very dirty, dirty horse here. That ah, stinks. Whose is this? Is it is it yours? No, it's, it's not yours. mine. Hmm? It's not mine. It's not it's not yours, huh? Whose is it then? It's hers. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you guys to play along here, trying to, so it's not so boring. <laughs> All right. That's basically the idea, right? Hers, yours. Whose problem is it? I know. Here's one. It's ours. It's ours. I was going to say global warming. Whose problem is it? <laughs> it's ours. Yeah. It's ours, yeah. It's theirs. It's theirs? <laughs> it's not concerned. Actually, you live, on the, you live in Vietnam, right? Do you live on the coast? No. No? Okay. I was going to say, if you live on the coast, it's definitely yours. <laughs> the sea is rising. No. Yeah. Who's, hey, this room is very messy. Who's, whose room is this? No, oh, it's mine. <laughs> it's yours. Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't buy you, man. All right, guys. Well, that's the idea. So pretty simple lesson, but thanks for participating. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Have a good rest of the day, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.